there are companies that probably know more about you than some of your family and friends, and they may actually have more of an influence on how your future will be shaped than you realize. Still, little is known about these so-called data brokers, despite a lengthy report by the Federal Trade Commission on how they operate. Karina Huber has the data. E-Bureau, CoreLogic, PQ. Most Americans have never heard of these companies or know what they do. Uh, no, I've never heard of those. No, I haven't heard of What was it? Uh, can you repeat them again? I've never heard of them. I have no idea what they would do with what they do. They're hardly household names, but the Federal Trade Commission thinks they should be. They are just three of nine data brokers investigated by the commission. Chairwoman Edith Ramirez said data brokers often know as much or even more about us than our family and friends. Brokers collect data from social networking sites, web searches, online and offline purchases, and public records. They then analyze and categorize the data, effectively making very detailed profiles on consumers. That data is then sold to marketers. Jonathan Hood is an attorney who works on privacy policies for corporate clients. There is sort of a veil of secrecy there in terms of what are they actually collecting. The report did not find any unlawful activity, but Hood says the worry is that there is the potential for companies to discriminate against certain groups of people. No one is really 100 percent certain what exactly goes on behind the scenes, how much of that information is used in ways that maybe it shouldn't be. For that reason, the Commission is calling for greater transparency. It also wants consumers to be given the option to view and change the information collected. It also has the support of the White House, which came out with a similar report last month expressing concern about the lack of transparency in the industry. It has also renewed its push for Congress to pass a Consumer Privacy Bill of Rights, which it describes as a blueprint for privacy in the information age. We'll have to see where that goes. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.